did your homework that is practice set 15 now today we are going to learn about the complementary angles now what is the meaning of complementary angles if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree then they are called as complementary angles i am repeating if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree then they are called as complementary angles see here i am going to draw here see i am drawing here 90 degrees angle that is angle a b and angle c this is angle a b and c which is of 90 degree if i'll draw one more arm from vertex b this is the arm b d now see student what you have seen here two angles have you seen angle a b d angle a b and d these two angles you have seen here and second angle is angle d b c first angle is angle a b d and second angle is angle d b c now see student we know that the whole angle a b c is equal to 90 degree but now this 90 degree angle is divided into two angles that is angle a b d and angle d b c now this angle a b d is suppose we'll take it is of 45 degree suppose we'll suppose it that is it is the angle of 45 degree then this angle also should be the 45 degree because what is the measurement of angle a b c that is 90 degree so angle a b d if angle a b d is 45 degree then angle d b c is also should be 45 degree that means 45 degree plus 45 degree what we'll get that is 90 degree that is 90 degree 45 degree plus 45 degree is equals to 90 degree is equals to 90 degree okay now see student means the measurement of two angles is what will we get that is 90 degree that means angle a b d and angle d b c are the complementary angles angle a b d and angle d b c are the complementary angles understood student now now we are going to solve the practice set 16 c the first question of the practice set 16 16 is given the measures of some angles are given below write the measures of their complementary angles now students last year we have already learnt about the equation if something we need to find out for that what we are doing we are suppose that we are considering a variable for that isn't it so here also we need to considering the variable for it considering the variable for the complementary angle of 40 degree so what we need to do we need to see let let the complementary angle let the complementary angle is x okay let the complementary angle is x now what we need to do if we know that the complementary angle of if the two angles sum is 90 degree then that complement that angles are called as the complementary angles that, that is why we have considered that that complementary angle should be x that that is why 40 plus x is equals to 90 degree what we need to find out we need to find out the complementary angle of 40 degree so what we need to do 40 plus the another angle should be x isn't it we have considered it so 40 plus x is equals to 90 degree that is why in equation we have already learned this 40 will go that side will become minus 90 minus 40 that will come 50 degree means the second complementary angle of 40 degree should be what it should be 50 degree okay students now we'll take the another example that is the 63 degree again what we need to do we need to let let the let the another angle 
let the another angle will be will be let the another angle will be x okay so means 63 degree angle and x angle is are the complementary angle so what is their addition 63 plus x is equals to 90 degree again the equation is given here now x is equals to 90 this 63 will go that side becomes minus it will come what is the 90 minus 63 yes 10 minus 3 that is 7 and 8 minus 6 that is 2 it will come that is the 27 degree that is x is 27 degree okay i hope students you understood it now second question is also there in practice set 6 16 that is y minus 20 degree and y plus 30 degree are the measures of complementary angles find the measures of each angles now students here half only i'll solve half you need to solve okay till equation i'll make the equation here so you need to solve now these two two angles are the complementary angles so what is the measurement of their what is the sum of their measurements that is the c 90 degree so y minus 20 plus y plus 30 y minus 90 plus y plus 30 is equal to what will it will come 90 understood now this equation you got now you need to find out the answer of it what you need to do first first of all just open the brackets y minus 20 plus y plus 30 is equal to 90 degree so you need to find out first of all the value of y and then after that you need to put the value of y into y minus 20 and y plus 30 y minus 20 you will get the another uh, you, you will get the, your first angle and y plus 30 you will get your second angle understood and if you want to cross check it you can add these both the angles what you got and you will get the sum of 90